one thing about me, I don't leave a relationship until I'm here. I don't leave. Oh, but 10 years is My, to be here, yeah, hey? I must know. But that was, a, that was the day after I left. We never did anything after that. I was here and I left. Hey family, a quick one. Over 87% of you are consuming this content every single week but are not subscribed. That means you are enjoying the growth conversations but you are not liking, you are not subscribing and you are not sharing it with others. So please, I plead with you, please subscribe so that you can share the love, you can share the growth and you can share this wonderful platform and wonderful safe space with others as well. Enjoy the episode. Would you say you're living out your purpose right now? Um, living my purpose. I am not living my purpose, but I'm definitely on my way there. Uh, why are you not confident enough to say that the life you're living now is not entirely your purpose and it's still a journey towards your purpose? Because I'm not where I want to be. Sure. Yes. And you that's know, fair. Yeah, yeah, I'm not where I want to, like, I want to be. Lomelo, yeah. But um, at some point, um, I can say that I'm on my way there. Sure. Where would you say you want to be? Sure. Um, I'm one person in terms of being comfortable. Sure. Yeah, one. So, um, me and I was successful very early okay. in my life. Okay. And, um, and then I've had hiccups mm -hmm. and I lost a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I'm in a process now of rebuilding. I hear you. I hear you. And, you know, to get all the things that I've lost. So um, where I want to be, I want to be in a place where I'm comfortable living with my kids because it's no secret that my daughter doesn't live with me. Sure, sure. So, Baba, I care. Yeah, so, Dad, yeah. I care. So um, also, I don't want to um, take my child and then I figure I'm appealing the way that, yeah, but, that cause, they used yeah, to. They used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So I'll say I'm comfortable when my daughter comes back to me Okay, my son is in varsity now. Yeah, one fine, yeah, no right where he is. Yeah. Did, yeah. Did losing that comfortability, that soft life, make you feel as if you lost who you are? The ones the, the things that I worked for, yes. Yeah, yeah. If you're talking about that. Sure. You're talking about that, yeah. yes. Um you know what? If I could get those things, mm -hmm. I feel like whatever you could, when mm -hmm. you can still do. Yeah, sure, I you can you. still look hard and then open those for I mean, there's seasons in life. Doesn't that type of loss, though, uh, affect your character and your self esteem and how you feel about um, your ability to accomplish, your ability to achieve? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just trying to understand where it puts you because I know you're rebuilding now yeah. but some people when they lose everything they lose all the faith and the confidence to rebuild again so where are you getting the strength to rebuild? Yeah um, it does make you feel a bit somehow but again I think with me um, it was sort of easy because I'm not a person or Zautini my circle is very small. Sure. The one. Yeah. yeah. Do that I'm very comfortable with. Mm -hmm. I'm not your girl who will be like, I'm in Santin today. I'm in this place. I'm here. I'm, I'm from the east. So yeah, yeah. I'm here. And I'm lucky enough. All those people know Zuguti. Um, what season you What are is in? happening. Yeah. Um, chances are they are also like it's people that I've worked with. Mm -hmm. Like Uviani, Uviani. Mm -hmm. We were yeah, man, mm -hmm. in the same boat because mm -hmm. we worked for the same company. Sure. And we lost things at the same time. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, of, of course, I saw Zifane because we're not from the same background. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I'm from very humble beginnings. Yeah. And yeah. Uviani may not, may not have lost like how I did, mm -hmm. but I, because of where I'm from, you know. So when you get to lose more, I don't know if you get me. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Hear you. So also the people that I'm always with, Ngabandu Abai understand I. Mm. I don't have to prove myself. Uber, I'm there. Yeah, they know how. Yeah. She's had this and yeah, this, yeah. but now she's here. Yeah. You know? So um, to say it was easy. I mean, it was easy. I mean, we were all going through a global pandemic, yeah. but sometimes 
we have this tendency of being too hard on ourselves. Yeah. And where did you ever blame yourself for the things you lost? Um, I never blamed myself per se because I had no control. Of yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, maybe the things that I I. I used to sit down and be like, oh, I wish I had never gone this way. Why did I do tourism? Mm. Like, I wish I had done something else. Why did I not go? Because I had friends who never lost. Mm, mm, I've got friends mm. who are doctors. Mm. Instead, they thrived, you know? Yeah. And, um, but you know what? I love the industry. And it, at some point, it worked for me. Yeah. And, yeah. And so just for clarity, yeah. you worked for South African Airways. South African Airways. For how many years? 10 years. For 10, ten good years. whole years. Yes. And then obviously when South African Airways went through the drama yeah. with the government and then COVID came as well, yeah. um, then jobs were lost. It, it basically closed down, if I remember correctly. It didn't close down. We just stopped flying for um, a few months. Yeah, yeah. And they kicked back in. But now, they not all of us started. And then we were like sure. put on layoff. They called us. Yeah, they called it lay off. You've been mm -hmm. laid off. Mm -hmm. And then from that, it was retrenchment. It was this, it was that. Yeah, yeah. So the last time I was on a plane, like working, yeah. I think we did repatriation. Sure. We were repatriating. Of no, like uh, people, like who okay, were living I remember. abroad. Yeah. So I think I did two of those flights. But the last one was Australia. Yeah. And yeah. that was the last time. I was Do you want to go back? Working. Would I go back? Okay, we were talking about this with my friend over here. Um, okay, now I'm back. I'm working in corporate, mm -hmm. but not my field. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying something new, and mm -hmm. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But I would go back in the sense that if if I'm not where I, I want to be now, because I'll go back because I want e stability for my kids. Mm -hmm. I want your medical aid. And, and th those are the only things that would make me go back. You know, when you're a mother, you want all this, your, your son, my this, must have this. And I'll, I'll be driving and be like, oh, if something happened to me, dude, I'll be going to Tembisa Hospital, mm, you know, mm, mm, such mm. things. That's the only thing that would make me go back. Yeah. You yeah. know, all those things. Those small luxuries. Those small luxury yeah. things. Otherwise, I'm fine in the sense that I'm getting paid at the end of the month. I go to work, come back. But um, I would go back for those um, and also for the free um, trips overseas here and there. You strike me as a woman who is confident in who she is and who worked for what she has, even though you've going through seasons, as you've said, but you've proven to yourself that you can work for things and accomplish them. So why then is there now a stigma attached to you that you dated a soccer player to, to, mm -hmm. to, to further yourself um, mm -hmm. so that you have more money and live softer? And do you think it's, an, it's a fair perception of you that people have? Um, I think it's a perception. And also, I dated Kenny very young. Mm -hmm. And I had never bought myself a car then. I didn't have a car. And Ukeni just came in my life and... Yeah, but I'm not spoiled. Like, mm -hmm. here's this. Whenever I thought of, oh, I So he bought car. you your first yes, car? Yes, yes. He okay. was, like, always there. And, um, yo, I think some things happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a good thing that I had to break up with Kenny because when I was with him, I never knew what was the balloon payment. You didn't know who Susanda is? Ini, ini. You do you understand? Yeah. I didn't know all those things. Yeah. He did everything. I'd be yeah. like, yeah. They'll be talking about, hey, hey, insurance. I remember with my first, first very first accident, he was in Ghana playing Afghan. <laughs> and then I didn't know what to do. I was like so lost. Oh, my God, what do I do? I'm in an accident. I didn't even know what to do. So um, me breaking up, okay, I've, I think it grows here. I mean, I get more like when I broke up with him. Sure. Because now I had to... I was working, but in my living in seven, it was just, yeah, that's my money. It's, you didn't yeah, get married? Yeah, we didn't get married. Did you live together? Um, no, I'm not that person. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. We dated 10 years, but in the 10 years, 10 years. But can I tell you what? The first two, three years, I never wanted to get married. I was still young in my 20s, early 20s, until I fell pregnant. Uh -huh. Now, yeah, we were like, no, we don't want to get married. But. <laughs> After, I think, after I fell pregnant, then I was like, no, fuck it, no. Pressure to you get know, married. Yeah. I want to get married. But now, when I want to get married, he no, no longer man, wants to this get person married. is not there, you know. Yeah. You can see my, no, I'm being, you know, 
Lopton string are long yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Then a whole lot. How do you add things. seven more years if you're feeling like you're being stringed along? I think it's the comfort zone, like the fear of the unknown, man. Because I can tell you that in the in that ten years, the happy years were like maybe the first four or five. Hmm. The rest was not happy. I was just hmm. there and. I think I was just exist, existing in the relationship hmm. because it's what I knew best. Hmm. I'd never dated anybody that long, even with my son, my, hmm. my, my ex. We dated a year, two years, and I left. I was like, no, I'm done. Sure, sure. But sure. with him, I dated him so long and I couldn't leave because, yes, there were happy days, but you know, when you say, like, you know, I had most of the time, like, I had when I was overseas flying for work, I had. A lot of time to myself, mm -hmm. I would sit down. When I'm out by, I'm a no man, like good things, yeah. Bad, you know, and then you compare. And the <laughs> list of bad was longer. Yeah, you know, like six, six, four. You're like, why am I still here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. What I, was happening in that final six years that wasn't good? I wasn't treated well, not in the sense that there was no violence, but you know, just being taken for granted. Mm -hmm. And undermined. Undermined. Yeah. And a person is just doing as they, you know, they want. And infidelity. Infidelity here and there. Kids here and there. Kids. Yeah. And you and you <laughs> stayed. I stayed. What makes a woman stay when there's that level of disrespect? Because let's call it for what it is. Mm -hmm. If somebody, it's one thing. If a mm -hmm. person, if a person. Um, steps outside of the relationship right mm -hmm. it's one thing to step outside of the relationship neglect your health by yeah. having unprotected intercourse with uh -huh. somebody else to the extent that they have a kid so how does a woman continue staying i want to understand the psyche of women who stay okay for me remember i had my son mm -hmm. very young so pre so now I have, him. yes now i have latoya okay and then these are two different men sure you know I already hear. we are black people yeah yeah this is not choice as what said fear colonia already yeah. now i'm thinking like let me tell you lunya even like it doesn't matter as long as in the sense i wanted to get married to the guy i was like hmm. i'm going to get married to this guy because of that i'm like who's going to want me two kids hmm. and also um i think what they said kale ga cool yo but i was not happy man the last few years no it was just toxic. But don't you think then as women you enable it because you've convinced yourself so much mm. that I want to marry this guy. Yeah. And trust me, when a man no longer wants you, he shows you. <laughs> you know what? And was, you must believe it. I, one day, I couldn't believe it. We were chilling. And then we were talking about men. And then he said to me, I'm sure you can't wait to be a man, eh? <laughs> Imagine. That was like, no, man. I want to be a man. Yeah. He said it like, you can't wait to be a man, eh? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, man, it's, you know what? Yeah, men will string you along. Um, when you finally <laughs> left, do you remember the day you left the relationship? Like it was yesterday. Ne? What yeah. happened on that day? Um, <laughs> okay. Can I have a sip? Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was February 19 or something. So he had been doing his things. Okay. So he had been doing that. My birthday is on the 21st of Jan. So okay. I don't know where he is. From your birthday period. From my birthday. Okay. So I decided I met a guy. <laughs> yes. So I met somebody who lived in the same place where I lived. So, you know, when you meet somebody, you know what? It didn't last with this person, but I still thank that relationship because if it was not for this guy, I wouldn't have left. Because I met somebody, you know, who showed me Utando, you know, I was like, oh my God, you know, something, he made me feel something that I had never felt before. Got together with this guy. He's lost, I don't know where he is. See, I'm Fonela, um Fonela, um to I, Dololo, nothing. Told Vian, you know what, my friend, if I get. I am, I've met somebody so and so and so. This is your 10? This is me. Okay. Saying, Guguti, I've met somebody, a um, neighbor. So, yes. My neighbor, remember, we're not living together. It must be nice. My neighbor, I mean. Yeah, Toto. Toto. Ah, who are man? Yeah. What a boo, yeah, one day, one yeah. figure, and 
Wafiga, I was just chilling with this guy. In whose place now? At his place. Oh, at his yeah. place. So we're chilling, just chilling. Yes. I'm on a Saturday, chilling. Netflix, Saturday night. chill. Yeah, Netflix, chill. Yeah. Yo, but now he went crazy. I think he didn't see that coming. Okay. Because, um, yo, I'd never... Stepped out. Yeah, I yeah. had never showed him Isan's Gutinami one day. I can move on. I can do this. Mm. So I wasn't I wasn't proud of myself when this happened, but um but now looking back it was an important yes, moment. It was an important moment. This time I know that there's a second lady that's pregnant and he doesn't know that I know. I did my digging. Yes. Yeah. And I confirmed yeah. and then I decided to move on. I said not this sure. time. Sure, sure, sure. So in that back and forth, gay, Guaba and then he only found out that day, like, busy. No, no, no. My, why, why can you do this? This is my woman. I said, I went. Your woman is pregnant. So, so, yes. Your real woman is pregnant. Yes. Yeah, which is fair. Which is fair. Your real person is pregnant. Sure. Somewhere. So, sure. please, yo, he was shocked. Though. Yeah, yeah. I was so scared. I was on a call with Fuyani. <laughs> it's like, if he kills me today, you must, <laughs> must know. You must know. Somebody must be a witness. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> I was like, you must know that this guy has killed me today. Yeah. He was so mad. But then he tried, you know, to beg after that. No, please. Because he could see, oh, fuck. I've, you know, I fucked up. He was begging. No, man, let's, let's fix things. Let's do this. Let's move in together. Let's get married. I was like, no, dude. I can't. I couldn't. Mm, mm, that was it. Mm. The thing is, I stay. I mean, I, one thing about me, I don't leave a relationship until I'm here. Mm. I don't leave. Oh, but ten years is long to be here. Yeah, yeah. I must know. But that was a that was a day after I left. We never did anything after that. I was here and I left. You checked out before you officially left. Before I yeah. dealt with my emotions and everything. Yeah. It didn't last with this guy, but it helped me. I hear you. That one was not my person, but. It had to Your happen. neighbor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it happens in life. The neighbor enabled. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I thank him. Is he a good dad, though, to your he daughter? He is a very good dad. Yeah. Yeah. And that's important. That's one thing I love about Kenny. He loves his kids. Um, like, mm, yeah, mm. Um, yeah, man, he tries. Yeah. He do you tries. believe in friendship? Friendship, yes. Yeah, because you spoke about how your friends in the East have been the ones who've carried you. Yeah. Um, what does friendship mean to you as a concept? Yo, friendship is deep, man. For me, it means loyalty. Mm -hmm. um, I must know that if I'm going through something, not necessarily, hey, Lungelo, I need five, 500 bucks here. Yeah, but um, just be there for me. Yeah. Um, Let's go have ice cream while yes. my, I'm having a tough time. You are my representation if I'm not there. Sure. If I'm not there, I must know that um, Ulungelo is there. And, you know, nothing can be said about me. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, but yeah, you know, someone to lean on, man. Sports wife, Show Max, do you feel you represented your friends on the show fairly? I think I did. I did. Um, a few um, hiccups here and there, but yeah. Friends, if you mean friends. Yeah. Yes. I had two friends going to the show. Going into the show. Yes. I had two friends. Which are? Vuyani and Dipuwo. And do you feel that you represented them fairly? Both of them? Um, with, let's start with Vuyani. Vuyani, I represented him very well. We had no drama. Sure. With Dipuwo, I did. I think I did represent her well until something happened. Whatever I was doing to Dipuwo was me retaliating. But that's not a sign of loyalty, Sisanda. To retaliate on uh, camera when a friend disappoints you. Surely you can pick up the phone and say, friend, that was really unfair of you. Yo, I tried with that one, eh? I tried. You know what? Um, reality shows, there's no script, but we sat down, Fuyani, Dipu, and I, I remember we're sitting in the car. We're like, guys, we can manipulate this, man. Let's, we know each other. We've been, you know? We've got that luxury, which we know. These people don't know each other. Let's be together. Let's, let's support each other. Mm -hmm. And we're like, let's do this as a strategy. And we were doing well I, until this one. What is sharp this? Sharp curve. What is the sharp curve? She started then creating alliances against me. You know, the one thing about Ama reality shows, 
I would come on a shoot. You don't know what happened, but I'm retaliating. A lot of things happen behind the scenes, you know? Correct. After shoots. Correct. There's people who don't do things here, Magutwa action. Yes. But Magutwa, okay, it's a rap. And then they start. Yeah. And now when I come on shoot, I'm full already. Yeah. Because this person is doing a lot of things in the behind. Yeah. The scenes. Or did you feel betrayed by her behind the scenes? I did. A yeah. lot of things. She said a lot of things about me to the girls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But who ended up Personal right now? Things. Nobody speaks to her now. Personal things. Personal things. Lies, even. Lies. And I was shocked. I'm like, this is a person that I, I know this girl. Like, she's my friend. Mm -hmm. Utipo was my friend. Yeah, yeah. Don't listen to her going to podcasts and all. We were, never, we were friends. Good friends. Apparently, you've never been friends. We were friends. You've just an acquaintance that... Maybe I was a friend to her and she was never, but we were friends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it You was, loved her as a friend. I did. I loved Boo. Yeah. I mean, who would? You know me, I have a child. I'm at Dubai. I got this. They are taking people, you know? Here, Jomi, this is you, man. Mm. This is us. This is our spec. Mm. And I can't go because now I'm a mother. Mm. You know? Mm. Mm. Is there a friend who, who, who doesn't love you who would do that? You know how people are these days. They just want to keep everything to themselves. The win must be mine, not yours. Wait, what? I never closed Utipu out. What's the Dubai spec? No, she, she got a job in Dubai. Okay. It was, I Jeez, got I was picking it. something else. No, 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 no. I, I saw the ad. Sure. I remember I was in a taxi before I even had a car. I was like cutting this thing. I was like a neighbor. Like, you know, when you're reading your neighbors, mm, like, mm, mm. can I please have that? Ad? No problem. This is me. Yeah. Like, no, this is yeah. us, not the poor, but I can't go. Yes, yes. I'm like, Chomi, look, this is you. You can go. They want us. I want, I know, Chomi, let me apply. I kept, did you apply? You yeah, did. Got the job. Bye. Even with sports wives. She didn't get the call. You I did. did. Yeah. But who did, I, who did I think of? First. So it almost feels like I brought you onto this thing only for you to try and turn people against me. Is that how you felt? I felt like that. Like, she didn't owe me anything coming onto the show. But hence I said, we spoke, we sat down. Because mm -hmm. we could see, yo, we are just being thrown in a lion's den. Like, we don't know these people. But, you know, we have that upper hand. We know each mm -hmm. other. We are this three or you know? Yeah, As yeah. We didn't know Dinewa. We yeah. didn't know. Like, we knew each other. We came far. In fact, I was even more friends with Tipo at, at Com A than Vianne. Sure. We were at Com A then. Yeah, and then together. we moved to, to SAA. Yeah. I became close to Vianne when we moved to SAA. Oh, my gosh. That's how deep the friendship yes. starts. It starts at work. Yes. Years and years of friendship. Yeah, but it's fine, man. Um, I cannot fault anyone. You know, people feel the way they do. I don't know. Friendship breakup hurts. It, it does. does. It still hurts? It, it, it does. Yeah. Now I think I'm fine. I've dealt with it. Yeah. But it really did hurt. Did you reach out to her after seeing the things that she said about you on television? No, we tried. You know, when we had that sitting, um, I was really trying to get to the bottom. Um, it's just that we are a D2. I sat down. I said, the girls say this. I laid down everything that they say that you know, she said. Mm -hmm. She couldn't come out with one that the girl said I said. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying the show finishes shooting months ago I in real I... life. Mm -hmm. Do you guys not have the patience because of how long you've been friends to sit down at a restaurant, at a corner, mm -hmm. grab a quarter, talk about it, and just talk? Yo, I think it's too much of a damage. I don't think there's any comeback from it. I think it's kaput. It's but it was very just words. hurtful things. We, 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 very we, hurtful things. We fix words with words. It's the same. No, but you can't. You know what? If you look at the show, I don't say anything about Dipo's kids. I never. That's one part of life. I feel like it's sacred. Your relationship you. with your kids. Fair. Not even once you will hear me talking about a relationship with Dipo and the kids or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she will always bring that. Why? I don't know. I think that's where she lost me. Hmm. Perhaps it was clout, the excitement of being on TV. 
that's why I'm, I'm trying my best to find um, and reason with mm. why she could have taken some of the decisions she took because we all human, we all make mistakes, we all deserve second chances. Mm. So do you not think about that sometimes that the, the action, lights, camera action could have been the reason she said some of these hurtful things? I could think it was if she did it on camera. Most of the things she did behind hmm. the scenes. Do you get me? Yeah. She did behind. They would go out for, for lunches and drinks after the shooting. And that's when she was doing this. Hmm. And when I start shooting with girls, I said, oh, man. You know? Something's been happening yes. here. Yes. Yes. Do you feel like she envied you, maybe? I think she did. You thought you had a friend, I but this is a, 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 a wolf in sheepskin. I think she did. And I think I... Yo, I didn't know that until now. Because you must know that... I was, okay, she may have been successful, but man, I was living her dream. Hmm. I was living alone, I was driving these cars, and I was, you know, living with my kids, fine with the baby daddies. I'm, I'm fine with both my baby daddies, by the way. We're like cool like that. Mm. The relationship we see with me and Kenny, that's what I have with my baby daddy, my boy's mm. father, mm. you know? Mm. And maybe, Which is something she doesn't necessarily you know, have. Maybe that like you you undermine your yourself. You think ah man, there's nothing to envy, because at some point she would come to my house. I said, can I throw a birthday party for my child? You know, and you're like, oh okay, cool. Come bring the kids, bring the whole of Soweto. Let's have a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Gandumtu. And you can come and say oh, we're not friends. We were friends. Are you, are you struggling now with friendships after feeling that betrayal? Oh, I am. Yeah. I am. I have yeah. no new friends. No new friends. My circle is small. I have like a few people. People that I grew up with back home, Mosel Bay, or like my people like your Vianis and the Indiras and stuff. Yeah, no. Hmm. I'm good. Why do reality TV? Because clearly you're losing instead of, of gaining. Do you feel like you've gained more than you've lost? Um, and would you go back? Um, yeah, reality TV. And to think I was very skeptical about it. Hmm. When, they, when I got the call, I didn't want to come. That's why I gave them to Boo. Because I was like, no, I can't do this. I said, can I give you somebody? Please, that's one. Yeah, and then yeah. I left. I went back. Oh, after SAA, I worked on the cruise ship. So yes. I went, I went back to the cruise ship. But now they kept on calling, you know, because I was like, no, this is not, yeah, I can't do this. But now their calls kept, they, you know, they kept on calling, no, Sister, they were please, persistent. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We need you. I'm like, why? <laughs> and then I, until one day I decided, oh, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Because also I want to grow my brand as a DJ. Sure, I want to, sure, because sure. Um, truth of the matter is that as a DJ, you need to be known yes, for you to yes. make it. I'm like, N more than why not actual take talent. this, you yeah. know? Yes. Why not take this opportunity and then I can grow that part of me? Yeah. And then I was like, I get, let me come back. I flew back. Mm -hmm. And I did the show. She was also shocked to poor because I told her, no, I'm not going to do it. Yes, Good luck. yes, I'm yes. not coming. And I came and I was like, okay, let me do it. Um, you're right when you're saying you lose a lot because like, yo, it's things that I've never went through before. You lose, man. But I'll do it again because I can see growth. I, um. People in the industry talk to me, they're like, Sandra, you can go far. Mm -hmm. Like, we see it. Mm -hmm. You are gold in reality, you know? Yeah. Like, and reality I'm like, I still TV don't gold. see it, yeah. but I think I'll still do it. I'll give it a chance. For I mean, you called the troublemaker. <laughs> Which I'm not. Hmm. I'm not. Hey. Hmm. I'm not, Lungelo. But yeah, I think Sports I'll do it Sportswives episode one, the first drama <laughs> involves Sandra. Oh, shame, my girl, bombs. Yeah. It's reality TV, guys. We have to give. TV. We have to give good you TV. You have to give. Yeah. And also, man, I don't regret most of the things that happened. That's how I felt at the time. Mm -hmm. Even with the bombs, I felt like that. Because I think I came on the show and I was full of my bombs. You know, when you're like, my chest is like, why do you hurt my friend? Yeah, no, you know, I get to. Because um, the ex is very quiet. He's like a very reserved person. So I was like, no, man, this is it. Vengeance for my friend, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, then I met Bombs, and then I tried what I tried. And then I was like, no, man, nah. Bombsy is a, is a cool chick. Let's, let me just relax. And now we're good. We're cool. 
almost half your cast members are people who have children with former soccer players. Mm -hmm. Why do women still date soccer players when it's clearly not working? <laughs> oh, well, okay, with me, I don't know. When I dated a soccer player, that's the only soccer player I dated, mm -hmm. by the way. So, Tipu had tried before to hook me up with a lot of soccer players. Like, I was like, no. Dude, this is not me. I had said no. I refused Dala to date soccer players. But there was just something different with him. So I think women, because I've um, chilled with a lot of them, I mean, Bafuna, the, the fame, Bafuna, the, mm, the excitement. The yeah, man, they were just one, the association. I know for a fact it's that. So is there like a club that you go to or a sport <laughs> in Soweto where the soccer players come and pick you guys because... <laughs> Because, I mean, some of the women on the show, they, they move from one soccer player to another. Yeah. It's like, no. oh, okay, let's rotate soccer players. <laughs> Clearly, there's a sport that you guys are hiding. Not even, not even. I don't know. There's no such thing. But, okay, other people you can say they meet by association, Wuti, you know. Like, I could have dated a soccer player way Before back. Kenny. But I refused. Yeah. And with Kenny, it so happened. We met at work. He was the passenger on my flight. Okay. I was like, chicken, beef, or me. <laughs> <laughs> chicken, beef, or Susanda. Or me. So that's how we met. And, yeah, I didn't even know he was a soccer player. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's something that I want to speak to is um, it's it's been made to seem as if you and Kenny fought and you lost custody of your daughter. Mm -hmm. Is it really that way or he just took sure. care of the child because he wanted the child? I was shocked at hearing that. They were back and forth, caught, going to court. Um, I heard that at some point Kenny didn't know which school the daughter goes to. Lies. Lies. Yes, we went to court, but we did not go to court back and forth. We went one day. And on that one day, we came to a decision. Okay, this is what, you know? Because any relationship, I find it, it's not right, but men tend to retaliate with, you know, some bonisa mm, and, okay, and, and. Okay. And now, it was unfortunate that this happened at the wrong time because that's, we broke up at the time, 2020, and I'm losing my job, you know? I couldn't do a lot of things. And like that. We went one day. In and that sense, yeah. We decided, you know, what do you want? Okay, it's fine. You can have it. This, that, that's it. One, and there's not even one day that Kenny never knew. Those are lies, man. Um, you then, in the process of trying to move on from, I guess you were still hurting, because there was a number of Instagram posts mm -hmm. that you spoke about your falling out with mm -hmm. Mr. Dipo, um, how your friendship fell out. Do you regret those posts? Because many of those mm -hmm. things were quite mean. I don't. I, we um, express it hurting a little different. Sure. If you know me, um, my friends are always fighting with me. I'm not too much of a speaker. I may be speaking. You, I know you won't believe it because of the show. I'm here. I don't mm -hmm, like talking mm -hmm, too mm -hmm, much. Mm -hmm. And I'm here. I would write, no, please. You know, I, I don't like talking too much. But I, that's how I express myself. I write down things. Is that how you deal with pain? Yes. Writing down yeah. it, and then do you cry a lot? I do, <laughs> I do. Does it help? It does help. Yeah. So I don't regret any of those. I feel like, um, yeah, man, I don't know. You have to defend your honor. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. because she got away with a lot of things until the end of the show. Yeah. She got away with a lot of things. Yeah. Who do you pray to? I'm Christian. Mm -hmm. Um. I was raised by um, a Christian lady, by my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, why my foot is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the beauty of podcasts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was raised by my grandmother, Nkulele Moselbe. Yeah. Um, um, she's late, by the way. Um, she was always Belikosa, yes, I do. She was also a lay minister uh -huh. at some point in Umshumayeli. So I pray to God. Um, that woman instilled um, those values. Those values in my yeah. life. And yeah, we I'm Anglican. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes. What do you say to God when you speak to God? Because your life hasn't been easy, especially mm. in the past four years. Um, and in those moments when it was not easy, did you blame God for the difficulties? Um, on a normal day, I pray to God. I, I like when you know when I say, "Dear God," I first thank God. 
for protection that, you know, I'm still here mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. for carrying me through, you know, this and that and that. And then I asked for protection, you know. And, um, yo, it's funny that you must ask that. You must ask me about that. Just before I got the job that I'm, I'm doing now. Sure. You know what, Lungel, after shooting the show, I, I went through a time in life in a good I was like, no, I didn't want to go back to the ship. Because I really hate being away from my kids. Sure. I would have long phone calls. You know, I can't even pray. I couldn't even pray. When you were on the ship? No, no, no. When I in was that back. period. In yeah. the period that yeah. I finished shooting the show. Sure. I just drifted from God because I was like, why, God? Why is in his window? Like I look at other people, it looks like things are happening so easy. They just, you know, and things are happening. And mine Why are falling me? apart. What's happening now? What then now? I came back, I shot the show. I don't want to go back to the ship. You mm. know, God, I don't like being away from my kids. Mm, mm, mm. I'm applying, nothing is happening, you mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm. I drifted from God until one day something happened. I was like, oh my God. And I was calling, I've got a friend in India. I was like, yo, dude, I can't pray. I cannot pray. And I taught my kids to pray. And when Latoya comes and visits, I'm like, ups, 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 pray, Latoya. I can't pray. Mm. I couldn't. But now I'm like, I've prayed and I'm mending my relationship with God as well. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. But I'm a prayer warrior. When I pray, I pray. Should hear my daughter pray. Yeah. She prays like, <laughs> how old is she? <laughs> She's 12. She's 12 now. <laughs> She's turning 12. <laughs> yeah. And, and, You've instilled th- that value within yeah, her. Yeah. Uh, w- w- why do you think you are intentional about mending your relationship with God? Did you see the importance of being connected? I know the importance sure. of God. I know I've prayed and things happened. I don't know. I think at some point I acted like a spoiled bread. Mm, mm. But I was just so mad. Things were not... Look, you know, things were not... I have so much to do. I am... Yo, I have a, a bond to pay this, that, that. The money that we made on the show was enough, but not enough for to, you know, keep me through months and months correct, and months. Correct. But I came in, I knew what I was, and with my DJ thing, I'm still near Totoba, you know. Um, I get gigs here and there, and also now I'm trying to perfect my brand. I went back, I'm, you know, there's things that I'm trying to, I'm trying to be very good at it. Yes. I don't want people to just, you know, band because of the face. Because you're on sports wives, yeah. Yes, I also want to deliver when I Correct. get the opportunity. Correct. Yes. Speak of the music, what music do you play when you DJ? Um, I'm a piano. I'm a piano. I'd also want to venture into a house at some point. Yeah, But yeah. for now, I'm still doing, I'm a piano. And do you enjoy it? Because it, it seems like something that's very different to who you are. Yes, it is. But I, I enjoy music. Yeah, 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 yeah. I find comfort in music and I love my piano. Did you only realize that recently that you enjoy music or is it something that's always been in the mm. back of your mind? It's always been in the back of my mind, but I started also this DJing thing before, way before the show. Yeah. But hence I said, if you nobody knows you. Correct, um, correct. Even with Instagram. Now I don't have a lot of following because I'm, I'm a private person and I don't even post. Mm. I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't know what kind of a person I am. You'll find me on Facebook. I relate more with Facebook people. <laughs> I'm here. I'm still trying to get used to this, you know, Instagram, Instagram thing. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Um, we're nearing the end of our conversation. Mm-hmm. And I just want to speak to uh, the woman who, when she had her son, mm-hmm. she was confused. She left the relationship. She thought there was yeah. no trying again. She continues, she meets Kenny, she falls in love again, she tries again, love fails her again. Mm. Right now, she's gone through the motions, she's lost jobs, she's rebuilding. Um, Does Sisanda still (laughs) believe in love and does she still have faith that she'll rise again? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I still believe in love. Mm. I believe there is somebody for me out there, you know? And I'll still take a chance in love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you not scared though? That I love think has I'm hurt you yo, too much. now I am nearing my forties. I mean my late thirties, you know. Yeah. I think I'll come with my eyes open. Mm-hmm. I was still young, man. Mm-hmm. And um I can say the um baby's the foundation then 
Even a call pure because I was also young. I was, you know, I was here, I was there. But now, I mean, at this age, come on. Like, I know what I want. Getting into it, we get there. We're like, what do we want? Hey, dude, this is what I want. So, so, so. I don't want kids. I want kids, you know? Outside of the drama of reality TV, mm -hmm. there's a Sasanda who is a mom, who is loving, yeah. who is caring, who wants who's very intentional about mm -hmm. raising their kids and wants good things for their mm -hmm. kids. 30 seconds for your son, 30 seconds for your daughter, because kids watch these things mm -hmm. nowadays. That's your camera. What are you saying to them, each of them? To my kids? Yeah. Oh, who? one thing I am very intentional about is being a mother. I will tell Uyo, your boy, carry on respecting people. He's a very, very respectful young man. I did a good job there. So I would say, do not change. Mm. Be the person that you are. The world awaits. Be serious about your studies. Sure. You're going far. Love you, boy. Mm. <laughs> I know you're going very far. To my daughter is that one thing for sure, mommy is going to work so hard for you. And you and I against the world, honey. We're going to be reunited. I can't wait to see you this weekend. <laughs> yeah. The show is Engineer Your Life. I'm Lungelo <laughs> KM. Another amazing episode with Sasanda. You know her from Sports Wives, but I hope you've seen a different side of her that um, helps you understand her purpose, helps you understand her truth, and helps you understand that beyond reality TV, there's a human there who's loving, who's a mother, who's caring, and who's just trying to better her life and better be a better human in everything that she's doing. Sasanda, thank you thank so you. much thank you for, for coming to me. our show. I hope you thank enjoyed, you. I and I hope um, this does exactly for you what you are doing in your strategy of becoming a better person. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Introducing the epitome of luxury living. Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.